Well, Domino's is nearly a $6 billion company that does business in over 60 countries around the world. I've been there 11 years as its CEO. I'm very proud of the place. I will miss it tremendously. There are very few opportunities that I can think of uh, anywhere that would prompt me to leave, but this is one of them. I love the University of Michigan. The athletic department here is something that helped shape my life and has had a profound impact on how my life has unfolded. The things I've learned here and the doors that it opened for me um, are something that I greatly respect and feel very appreciative of. So the idea that I can come back here and help lead this department and, and do some of the things that will hopefully allow us to continue the tradition of, of being you know, a great logo, a great brand, uh, fielding great teams, winning championships, educating and providing opportunities to a lot of student athletes who go on to do great things in life. If I can be a part of that on a day in and day out basis, I can think of nothing that I would rather do. Because first of all, when you're a regent for eight years, you meet and know a lot of the people here. So I'm not a newbie who comes in here and doesn't understand who the people are and how the place is how the place works. Um, second of all, I understand the processes of how decisions get made and how things get done at the university, and, and that, that will be very helpful. And, and I've learned a lot about the athletic program and the role that it plays. When you're, when you're at that Regents table for eight years, uh, you, you understand the, the imp importance of investing in athletics and what it can mean and represent to the university as a whole. You know, when we win the national football championship, the following year, our applications for enrollment at the university were up 23 percent. Uh, that gives you an idea of the power of athletics in terms of how it really becomes a selling force for this university. It takes the brand and it takes the energy of the campus uh, from coast to coast and really around the world. So I, I, I'm excited to be a part of that. What's the biggest challenge you feel like you're going to face coming into this right away? Well, this is, not, this is not an organization that's in trouble or bleeding or in crisis. So I have the luxury of being able to come in and listen and learn and get better acquainted with some of the people and some of the issues that really um, we need to take on. I think there's an advantage of coming in kind of with a, a clean sheet of paper and a new set of eyes that affords me the ability to really challenge the status quo in some cases and see how we can maybe do things better and achieve greater things. Uh, so I don't come here with a preconceived notion of any one singular agenda item that I plan to accomplish. One of the things that we'll do very initially is work on a, on a strategic plan and establish the real mission and goals and measurable, measurable outcomes that we want to see. And then we'll make sure our organizational design matches up with that, that we've got job, description, job descriptions in place with the right talent in place to get the job done. One, the one major issue right now with this program is the, the pending NCAA investigation. How do you plan on handling that and, and dealing with those issues that are clearly going to be coming up for at least the first few months? Well, the first thing I need to do is understand it. You know, I don't think the investigation is ongoing, so we have to find out what the outcome of the investigation is, and we're going to react to whatever that outcome is. If we've done something wrong, we're going to fix it. Uh, we're going to be stand up about it, and you know, we'll, we'll put, the, put the systems in place to make sure that we don't make the same mistake twice. Uh, but I think it would be premature for me to try to guess what the outcome of this is going to be. I haven't been briefed on it and probably won't be until I get in this job. So uh, we'll deal with it. 